guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So what we are going to be doing is going over and continuing the mod overview of my F-150. So far I've done wheels, exterior, interior. Now we are going to go over all the exterior lighting. I have always been a huge lighting nut, a lighting geek. Anytime I have an opportunity to upgrade to something better that performs better, has better cutoff, better output, I'm always for it especially with this truck. When I got this, this is a 2015 F-150 uh, XLT trim, so everything was halogen. Absolutely hated it. I'm so spoiled from over all the years of getting proper lighting that anytime I see anything that has terrible lighting, I have to upgrade right away. So when I picked this truck up, again, as I mentioned, it had all halogen, uh, had a halogen headlights, halogen fog lights. It's very mediocre, and uh, it was something that I addressed right away. So let's go ahead, let's go around the vehicle, go over all the lighting that I upgraded and also any future exterior lighting that I plan to upgrade. So up front and center, the thing that you notice the most are the headlights. These are the Morimoto XB LED headlights. This is the amber version. I actually just upgraded to the amber version. I was running the white DRL for quite some time, a little over a year, and uh, I realized that they had an amber version, so I just changed it up. Absolutely love these headlights. It really changes the look of the overall vehicle. Uh, like I said, the halogen ones were terrible and all the inside was just chrome and had normal halogen bulbs. So it really, really dated the truck. And um, like I said, the output and the overall performance was awful. Now over the years, LED lighting has completely changed. It has definitely taken leaps and bounds from where it was. And I gotta say, I am very, very impressed with the Morimoto XBs. The cutoff is very, very good. The overall width of it is extremely wide so you get some very very nice output uh, and overall performance these are complete plug and play options so you don't need to splice anything you don't need to wire anything up you get everything that you need i just did a whole entire install video on these uh, you know get all the harnesses and the wire taps that you need to do into the fuse box so you can get your daytime running lights working properly super simple setup and honestly these are 100 percent one of my favorite things i've ever done to the entire truck these are the low beams, obviously going to be very hard to show you since it is daytime, but let me show you the uh, brights or the um, high beams. So if we go into the truck, just hit the stalk, and there you go, there are the high beams. Again, hard to tell, but uh, the bottom uh, two LEDs down there, the bottom projectors, those turn on uh, even brighter. So that is what your brights are, super bright and very, very nice upgrade. And this is the daytime running light. I figured I would just show you that as well. This is what it looks like when I'm driving uh, during the daytime without any lights on or anything like that. Very, very cool. I absolutely love the amber. I think it looks fantastic on the black, super menacing. This is usually for the Raptor guys, but as soon as I saw they had them, I knew I had to have them. Now, if we travel downward, as you can see, I'm running some Morimoto four banger NCS wide fog lights. These things are awesome. Uh, it's a direct plug and play. Again, just like the headlights, everything fits in the uh, same exact factory spot as well. It comes with a little bracket, so it fits in that spot. Uh, these are very versatile it's for many, many different brands, different cars, different trucks. Absolutely amazing. The cutoff and the actual performance of these things is insane. Uh, I'll show you a picture between stock and these as well against the wall that I took a while ago when I first put them in. And uh, these things perform awesome. I always love having yellow fog lights. These do come in white as well, but yellow, uh, I'm just always more attracted to that. Plus the hue and eye depicts yellows and oranges better than uh, blue, white, and purple. So having yellow fog lights definitely helps. And plus I just like the look. I think it looks awesome and uh, super menacing coming down the road, and it's just a really cool look. Highly recommend them. If anybody's looking for a proper setup, a proper fog setup, I couldn't recommend the Morimoto four bangers enough. Now moving right along, still up front, I just installed these. These are the Morimoto four banger uh, HXB uh, combo ditch lights. Combo meaning it's a combination between a spotlight as well as a fog light. So they're both wide and they go very far. Absolutely love these things. It has a crazy amount of light. Uh, obviously, this is for off-road use only and obviously for places where there's no traffic or anything like that. But I've always wanted to get these and uh, the whole I did a whole install on these. Beautiful setup. It comes with some nice brackets. I'll show you them real quick. They attach to the hood latch underneath. Everything is very seamless, very quality. Has a nice Morimoto uh, logo on the side. And uh, I am super happy with the install of this. Plus, I love the way they look. I mean, if we come out front, you can see all the lighting kind of uh, in your face coming down the road. Again, this is for off-road use only, but um, I absolutely love the way these things look. 
super bright and uh, the install is very very simple everything is just wired up to the battery so these are powered individually so i actually have it wired up um, right here with a little morimoto switch that comes with the kit um, so all i gotta do is turn it on or off very very easy uh, i do have a custom fx um, switch panel to go up there that i plan on installing very soon so i'll do an install video on that once i get some time uh, to wire everything up but i figured i'll just put that switch in there so i can use them and it turned out really really clean very very happy with it and uh, the amount of light on this truck up front is pretty darn insane and these things uh i'm extremely happy with them so if you are looking for some proper ditch lights i can't recommend the four bangers yet again again these are the hxbs so these are the brighter version than these these are the ncs which are very bright but not as bright as these i wanted to have as much light as possible on top of the truck now if we come over to the side obviously this is something i want to touch as well these are turn signals uh, the stock ones are just the clear lens so they stand out I like all my lighting to kind of blend in so you don't really notice it unless it's on So these are the smoked version as you can kind of tell when they're off uh, and they're also sequential So it really really updates the look and also sequential up here So everything matches very very nicely if we come over to the passenger side same exact thing So super nice very very happy with that as well um, and everything looks really good. As you guys can notice, I'm a pretty big Morimoto fan, uh, so I pretty much have the entire Morimoto catalog on this truck. So let's go ahead, let's go into the back and discuss some things that I've done back there. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit hard to show, but as you can see up there, that is the third brake light as well as the bed light. Not really a bed light, I don't really consider it one, but um, that is by iJDM Toy. It's a smoked version, so it really blends in. The stock one is the ugly clear with the red, and I never was, never was a big fan of it, so I upgraded to the iJDM Toy. Super simple install. I did a video install on that as well, uh, but it looks really good, and as you can see, it blends in very, very nicely. Now, as you can see in the bed of the truck, I just installed these. These are by Starkey Products. Uh, it is a beautiful plug and play setup for the bed of your truck. Uh, mine did not come with some LED lights. So if you open the door or unlock the vehicle, as you can see, the lights light up. Super amount of light in here, very, very nice. Obviously it was super dark prior. Um, so having these just kind of plug right into the actual uh, trailer hitch uh, wiring it's just a plug and play harness very very nice setup very easy to do and I'm really happy with the outcome of it if you had a bed cover on here when you open up the tailgate it would be crazy amount of light since it would be more concentrated but the entire bed lights up in the nighttime and uh, it's very very nice uh, to be able to see what you're doing back here so highly recommend them they were only like 130 bucks or so so not that bad uh, considering you get all the harnesses and the plug and play set up uh, I really really enjoyed it so if you're interested be sure to check that video out uh, but let's go ahead and wrap around to the taillights all right so those are stock taillights as you can see I actually used to run the Morimoto XB taillights in the smoked version uh, but I recently sold them because I ended up pre-ordering the Gen 2 Morimoto XB L uh, LED taillights I ordered them back in November they were supposed to be in in January and then end of March April and then they just pushed them back until June so I will be waiting on those. Once those come in, I'll give you guys an update. But running the stock taillights for now, I end up selling the Gen 1s. Uh, I thought they were gonna be in much sooner as Morimoto showed, or, or as they said, but it ended up kind of getting pushed back. So I'm glad they pushed them back. I'd rather make sure I get a good product than them just pushing something out just to get it out. So I'll be running the stock taillights for now. Absolutely hate these things. <laughs> They're all halogen as you can see, so it doesn't look good. And plus the red really, really stands out. Really looking forward to the Gen 2s. And as I mentioned, I will update you guys once those come in. And last but not least, can update lighting without upgrading the license plate lighting. So these are the Morimoto XB license plate lights. Super simple, again, plug and play install, plugs right into the OEM harness or the OEM uh, factory wiring. You just pop them in and pop them out. I did a video on them as well. Super simple and it really updates the truck. These were halogen when I first got the truck and upgrading these was really easy. And these are relatively cheap. I think they're only like 30 bucks or so. Um, so again, I recommend them as well. But as you can see, it has a nice gloss black housing around there. And uh, it's a really, really nice little product. So if you're looking for some nice LED license plate lighting, I definitely recommend snagging a set. I actually realized I just wrapped the video up and I was gonna go over some uh, future exterior lighting that I was gonna do. Just real quick, I do plan on doing some type of light bar. Uh, I would like to do something behind the grill so it's nice and hidden. I don't like when light bars are kind of in your face and everything. I know they have some uh, grills and everything that have light bars integrated, but I don't really like that look. So. I like to try to find a way to get some type of light bar 
uh, under there or something. I know they have one down here, but it's really small. So I don't know. I'm definitely going to be looking into some options in terms of uh, a light bar because I would like to get one on there just for uh, more uh, upfront light. And um, I think it would be pretty cool. So that is the future plans. Otherwise, the Gen 2 taillights I plan on upgrading once they come in. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so that is going to wrap up the exterior lighting on my F-150. I had to turn the truck on. It's pretty cold out, and I just want to hop into a nice warm truck. So if you guys have any questions at all about the lighting that I'm running on this truck, uh, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Make sure you go back and check all the install videos and kind of my review on these when I first installed them. I did install videos and reviews on everything on this truck that you see, so be sure to go back and check them out. But as for this one, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.